Christ is the servant king. He came not to be served, but to serve. Christ's kingdom is not based on ego, is not based on hierarchy like the worldly kingdoms, the, the kingdoms of this world are. Christ's kingdom is not of this world. So that is why he said he died for his friends, his brothers. Christ is your brother, is your friend, and yet he is Lord. All who came before Christ were thieves and robbers, as Christ said. Christ is the only one who came down here, who is the true life, the living bread, come down from heaven. He's not an ascended master, he's descended. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. And that is the thing with a lot of these different religions and new age teachings, is all about working your way towards the Father towards God and what did Christ say to this Christ said one of his disciples asked him who is the greatest out of all of us in the kingdom of heaven because this is what humans are like they're always looking for a rank they're always looking to get further but Christ said to them the one who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven is like one of these little children this isn't about hierarchy to fully find the Father, you have to first admit that you are not God and that we are in the flesh. We are, none of us are better than each other. This is why there's no point in judging each other because we're all as bad as each other. There is no one good enough and there's no one too bad. Christ came to, not to condemn, but to set free. That's why the teachings of Thelema, the Gnosticism, the Christ mind, New Age movements, it's all working your way. It's the same old story. It's thinking that you can work your way, but it is not by works so that no one can boast. But a lot of these movements, like this Christ mind movement for one, they take one or two things that Christ said and they bastardize it completely. They'll take, for example, I and the Father are one. And they take that as an isolated statement and they make it into, they make people think that we have to acquire the Christ mind in order to ascend to oneness with God. But where does that fit into everything else that Christ said that he, you know, we have to take up our cross and follow him. And if you read the New Testament, if you really read it with an open mind away from your carnal flesh, if you really read it with an open mind away from ego, you will see what Christ was saying. We can't just take isolated statements. That creates a cult. And this is the thing. You have to be very careful because a lot of this new age stuff says, says things that sound good and that's called bait. They say things that sound good and they drag you into a Luciferian movement. But the thing is, they say these things like, we want to unite, the, you know, the, the world is one, the world is united. And although on the surface that sounds great, but people like David Icke push this as well, so that should automatically give you a red flag. But that is actually totally anti-Christ, because Christ made it very, very, very clear that there is a separation. He came to bring division, divide father against mother, parents against children. Because let's face it, if you go home and tell sometimes with your family, you might tell them that you now believe in Christ, that can cause an awful lot of division. And it tends to be that the ones who don't believe in Christ will turn on the one that now does believe in Christ. So I'm not saying this in a sadistic, divisive, uh, kill non-believers way, which is completely, if you, if you ever killed anyone for Christ, you are completely misunderstanding what Christ said, because he said to turn the other cheek. So all of these wars fought in the name of Jesus Christ, I tell you, they were not fought in the name of Jesus Christ. They were fought in the name of organized religions that do not serve or seek Christ. But Christ made it clear, you're either in the house on the rock or the sand. You're either in the house of life or death, the sinking sand or the sturdy foundation. You're either living in the carnal flesh or in the spirit. You're either a sheep or you're a goat. 
Now the truth movement, people like David Icke have done a good job once again of inverting Christ's words. And they've made everyone think in this truth movement that a sheep is a bad thing. It's a derogatory thing. But in fact, I would rather be in the flock of the Lord than a goat in this world. So you're either in the body of Christ or you are in the satanic kingdom of death. You're either in life or you're in death. You're either in the body of Christ or the body of Cain, if you will. So when Christ says the kingdom of God is, in, is within you, which I hear many people saying, even people who don't believe in, in being saved by the blood of Christ, you still hear them saying, oh, the kingdom of God is within you, which is something that Christ said. But I put to you now, the kingdom of God is in the body of Christ. The kingdom of the Father is in the body of Christ. Christ is the only one who will fill your abyss. He is the only one. No materials or anything else will fill the abyss within you. But the kingdom of the Father, I and the Father are one. You are either in the body of Christ, in the kingdom of life, or you are in the body of death, the body that is in chains, in the chains of death. And Christ is the only one that can break those chains. This house that we are currently in, this reality, this cube, if you will, this is the house of death. This is the kingdom built on sinking sand. This is the, the satanic hierarchy kingdom in which you are told to serve yourself, to work your own way, and it is completely anti-Christ. Christ was the one, the true life that came from the Father, who came down into this house of death and offered anyone, no matter how good or how bad you've been, anyone, the open heavens, no one standing between you and the Father. He is the one that came down into our house of death and said, look, if any of you want life, if any of you truly seek your creator, take up your cross and follow me and I will give you life. He is the way, he is the truth and he is the life. He is the only life. Christ is the only answer that I have ever found and the only truth that mankind has ever known. Your father loves you. He's given you away. Please seek him with all your heart. Peace, everyone.